Hello everyone, welcome back to Skyrim Special Edition. Something borked in my main game. Or rather, no, it was intentional, I believe. It was intentional what actually happened right here. See, I'm trying to do the hard fire content and try to get the, all the achievements for it. However, because I killed the house carl of the Falkreed estate or Falkreed hold, whatever, I can no longer buy a house from Ninja. And because of that, I cannot get two of the achievements of the Hardfire content, which is the ones that, that involve the, you getting all three houses available and, well, building them. So because of that, I was not able to build Lakeview Manor in my main save file. What I did to get the achievements is actually load an earlier save file back when I was still doing the Winterhold quest line. And back then, I hadn't killed that house carl, so I was still able to buy the house in Falkreet. But for my main save file, I decided to take the house at Morthal, because I kind of like it. To be honest, I like all of these houses, but uh, uh, in this case, I decided to choose the one in Morthal. Your march hold, rather. You know? Because we're not going to be <laughs> building our house in Morthal. No, of course not. That's not part of the little game. To actually build our house, well, first we need to buy some lumber, which we can buy uh, from any people who work uh, around uh, these places. And if you're friends with that NPC, you can cut the lumber yourself, which is really convenient if it's a little grindy. Uh, Boland, in this case, is impossible to be friends with, however. Well, let's use shenanigans, I suppose. Maybe possibly using spells? Mm, maybe. Anyway. Yalmarch holds uh, houses all the way over here. Windstand matter. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's... I usually get this house for vampire characters. Because it's all lonely and near the coast. And it feels appropriate for a Skyrim vampire. You know? Anyway, what do you need to do to start building your house? You need to go to the drafting table. You need to choose what you're going to build. And in this case, it's quite obviously that we can only start with a small house. Because... There's nothing right there right now. And we need quartz stones, nails, sawn logs, uh, you know, other works. You get most of the things you need from the chest next to uh, the carpenter's uh, table or whatever it's called. However, as far as logs are concerned, you probably want to buy a ton in advance. Especially if you're going to build the three houses. And particularly if you're going <laughs> to... Try to build as many things as you can inside the houses as well. You need like, I want to say, at least 1,000 logs to fully furnish all the houses. Probably more. Anyway, I built quite a few things here. Fish hatchery, garden, grindstone, all that kind of stuff. Fish, fish hatchery is uh, exclusive to the uh, Winstand Manor. The um, Lakeview Manor has uh, beehives, I believe. And uh, the other house, I uh, can't remember its name. The other house, I don't remember what this exclusive thing is. And I don't believe I ever tried to find out because it's not the house that I built in my main safe house. Anyway, here's a small house's interior. Very tiny, but serviceable, if I do say so myself. You can build a double bed, some chairs, corner shells, you know, stuff like that. You can even build a fire pit to cook, which I will have to do to get an achievement in this video. But it's probably not very satisfying to many people, particularly because you had to pay $5 for this DLC. Uh, unless they got a special edition, because special edition comes with this DLC. Um, you can start building a bigger house by going back to the drafting table and starting work on the main hall. The main hall is where most of the stuff you would expect to find in a big house would be. However, you're going to have to start uh, getting... Uh, extra stuff to actually be able to build the main hall so quarried stones and extra logs and a little bit more clay but most importantly quarried stone fortunately for you every house has a bunch of quarried stones that you can mine uh nearby you know stone quarries so stuff like that and they should have a pickaxe uh nearby as well too like right here so you just start mining from the stone quarry and you get four every uh now and then, and, well, you're going to have to get a lot. Like 200, I want to say, for each house. Probably. Uh, this is the slow way of mining quarried stones. However, the faster way is to simply equip the pickaxe. 
And to do this. Much faster. Don't y'all agree? Anyway, once you've got enough quarried stones, go back to the carpenter's workbench and continue work. See how many quarried stones you need? Quite crazy, huh? Don't forget the nails, too. Nails can be created through uh, iron ingots. Oh, yeah, that's the thing, actually. Hard fire really, really demands a lot of iron ingots out of you. Like, seriously. Just about everything you're going to build inside and outside a house will require a good, I don't know, 50 iron ingots or something. It's crazy. Sometimes you need uh, nails from iron ingots. Sometimes you need iron fittings from iron ingots. Sometimes you'll need uh, hinges from iron ingots. And sometimes you need the iron ingots themselves. Not to mention the locks that you have to create uh, from them too. Although those require corundum ingots as well. There's, re there's a reason I made a lot of the uh, locks in advance. Just because of how I hate having to get the corundum ingots from towns every time I run out. I had like 33 before uh, starting this uh, video, in case you're wondering. And I'll still have a good bunch because of uh, how I wasn't able to build the three houses in my main save file. That kind of reminds me now, I'm going to have to drop a lot of stuff when I'm going back to my main save file. Because I use most of my resources on the uh, older save, you know, to build all three houses. Although that required a bit of grinding as well. Anyway, here we have the wings. You can only build one for each uh, cardinal direction or something like that. So only one east wing, only one north wing, and only one west wing. Personally, I recommend the library, the um, trophy room, and well, for the west wing, choose whatever you want. Because usually I use the bedrooms, but uh, the bedrooms are not necessary at all. It's kind of uh, inconvenient or unnecessary to build way like the east wing and north wing and west wing but you, i need to do it for the achievements you know oh by the way i'm in the shell right now you can build a shrine there where you can then create a bunch of shrines for all of the atra if you have the respective uh, uh amulets from them it's why i was collecting them this entire time unfortunately i don't really get to create any of the shrines and i don't really need any of them either so it was kind of a waste for me to take all of those uh, um amulets just didn't this entire playthrough because most of them i never bothered using and now i'm never going to use them at all because of the how i borked up my uh, intentions to create all the houses on my main save file by killing the house carl at falkreed hall before i was supposed to And now I have to get more quarried stones. Annoying, huh? It's mostly annoying in Requiem because of how uh, it's difficult to carry a lot of stuff at once. Also, there's clay. Clay is also something that you can mine uh, near the houses. All of them, I'm pretty sure. Just, it's a little more difficult to find because of how it's on the ground or something like that. Like, you can see that I'm searching for one right here because I didn't know where it was exactly. But eventually I find out where it is right over here. Hmm. You don't need as much uh, clay as you do uh, quarried stones in case you're wondering. So don't get like 90 of them. That's well, that's probably just enough for like all three houses. In fact, so I guess 90 is fine. <laughs> anyway, once you're done with one wing, you can proceed to create another if you want uh, if you like choose a wing but you didn't want to choose that wing don't create anything and just choose another wing that will uh, allow you to create the other wing but if you start work on one wing you're stuck with that wing forever until you start building on another house anyway anyway uh the house is completed and i get an achievement for it but in order to get all the achievements i need to build to their completions all three houses and I cannot do that I mean, I mean save file so I decided to switch over to getting married and to do that you need to get an amulet of Mara equip it and talk to a marriable NPC in this case I chose Isolda well yes why wouldn't I be are you interested in me it's settled then 
brief his life no you're not automatically married once you've uh, agreed to marry someone not to mention if you have second thoughts you can always uh, skip out on the marriage in order to How have another opportunity later on anyway uh, before the marriage starts you need to talk to Maramal I'd like to have a wedding at the temple and he says that your wedding will be held tomorrow from dusk to dawn or dawn to dusk <laughs> uh, so here's the thing though sometimes this glitches and you absolutely need to like re-enter the temple in order to start your wedding if you don't do that you'll actually miss out on your wedding because of how you thought it was going to be tomorrow it's weird that way anyway right here i'm call talking to constance michelle who i thought whose name was constance this entire time uh you need to talk to her to adopt kids or kids from the orphanage anyway uh there are other ki children sure, that you can adopt in the like well, uh, everywhere around the world but the uh, ones i have to adopt to in order to get the achievement is one of the brats in this place even though i usually don't do that anyway i was talking to michelle right here trying to get her to uh like uh agree that i can adopt a child but i don't have enough stuff in my house in order to support one annoyingly enough so I decided to just skip to doing the wedding. This right here is very glitchy, by the way. Ah, here's the proud groom if you like reload your save or something and use the Elder Scroller or something like that, I'm not sure exactly what the specifics are. You can do a whole bunch of sequence breaking. It's quite crazy. From this love that we learn that life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today under Mara's loving gaze to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal companionship. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next, in prosperity and poverty and in joy and hardship. Do you agree to be bound together in love now and forever? I do. Now and forever. Do you agree okay, I said that you could skip the wedding, but you can also just uh, say that uh, you're having second thoughts and stop the wedding and you can't go through this. Blah, 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 blah. But who would do that? <laughs> if you showed up for the wedding, you should be ready. Anyway, I got the achievement. I'm married. And that's neat and all, all, even though I don't really care much for Isolde. May they protect each of you in your new life together. Oh, uh, you get Mara's uh, wedding ring or something like that. It's not very good. It's just like 7% uh, less cost for all the restoration spells. I actually tried to uh, uh, download mods that would improve it, but I can't get it to work. Anyway, right here, I just do something real quick. I cook something because I don't have that achievement. And to cook, you usually need salt pals and some kind of vegetable or fruit or something like that. Or meat, rather. Yeah, meat. Like horse meat or raw meat. Stuff like that. And now, here's something unusual happened. Rochelle the Red is supposed to be a NPC that kidnaps your spouse. And asks, like, puts her up for ransom. Him or up. And your spouse will always be captured no matter what. No matter how weak he or she may be. Or how strong he or she may be. It's kind of annoying. Uh, you can actually agree to the ransom, as in pay it, or you can actually just kill Rochelle the Red and her band of bandits, like I do right here. But usually, what will happen is an NPC bandit will walk up to you, tell you that, Hey, you want to see your spouse again? Well, go to this place and pay the ransom. But in this case, Rochelle was there and she just immediately attacked me. It's really weird. Hello, my love back from some adventure i bet now your spouse will be kind of um watered down personality wise they all become merchants they all uh say hello and greet you uh, with unique uh, marriage lines but <laughs> the marriage lines are actually actually unique they're all like the same Goodbye, my love. They all say that. Like, with their own voice, but it's, it's not special, you know? It's not special. It's kind of too bad. I kind of wish there were mods that made uh, marriage more in-depth, but there aren't, really. 
There are some mods that try that, but it's like, it doesn't work. Anyway, I need to create a child's chest in order to be able to adopt kids. It's weird. It's so that they can put their toys inside. I can't believe Grella. Anyway, going back yes, to Constance Michelle, telling her, Hey, I furnished my house. Very kids well. can now come That's in and do their own things. Congratulations. Go meet the children. Once you've made a decision, I'll collect... I don't usually adopt any of those brats, but in this case, I absolutely had to. Because the one I tried to adopt, Sophie, who is in Windhelm, she wouldn't, for some reason, she wouldn't actually go to my house. And I think it has something to do with her not being very compatible with Heartfire. Anyway, proud parent, got the achievement, and that's that. I don't even care about the kid. While I was traveling around, I encountered a legendary dragon, and that's an achievement, defeating the legendary dragon. So you can see me find it right here. As far as their power is concerned, they seem to have the exact same amount of health as the, uh, um, uh, what are they called? The uh, Revere Dragons, I think that's what it's called. They have as much health as those, but they hit a bit harder. I think that's the only difference. They also have ridiculous eyes. Yeah, they hit a bit harder. Oh my god! That's what happened to her! Yeah, I'm going- I'm looking back through this footage for the first time. Sorta, of, kinda. And Saren and Rustlife both died! Oh my god, that's tragic. Especially for Saren, because she was pregnant. God. That dragon is a dick. Horrible, horrible, horrible. But I have to show the footage of me beating it because I get an achievement for it. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I knew Rustlife died. I saw him die and I found his corpse. But Saren, I was trying to find her and... <laughs> the fact that she was killed all along before rust life even it really just uh makes the whole thing tragic to me anyway this is me uh, going back through uh, the older save file and i can buy all of the houses in that save file and well i bought the one from paul Crete and morthal already now this is me buying the one from scald no longer be tolerated in the pale good work you have to kill a giant for him before he'll allow you to buy a house and become a thing. Of course, if you went through the Civil War, you don't have to do that, but uh, in this safe file, I did not do that. It's actually kind of weird that you have to buy it directly from Scald. Usually you get it from the, the uh, house scarls or things or whatever. Anyway, I got the achievement for buying all houses. And I'm going to show where they are right here. Hill, 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 Hall, however you say that. Winstead Manor. And Lakeview Manor. Cute, huh? Anyway, I build all of the houses real quick after a bunch of grinding. And once I do that, I get the achievement for doing that. Yay. You do not have to build anything inside. You just have to build a outside you could like all of the wings the main hall all of that that's how you get the achievements so it could have been worse if i had thought i was supposed to like build beds and stuff uh, inside the houses because it would have been like more time consuming you know and more annoying also just a precaution if you're trying to go for the achievement like i was uh, try to build uh, like all of the different wings you know for each of the houses just as a precaution you know and like if you want to build the houses uh, in a very specific way then get the achievement first then reload before you build the houses and start all over it's annoying but it's yeah what do you have to do i feel anyway that was that all of the hard fire content i hate that i had to water down the video itself but it's what i had to do because of uh, the fact that uh, i could not actually build all three houses in my main save file but hey at least i got all the achievements you know <laughs> Like, imagine if I had to start back from the very beginning because of how uh, the save borked, you know? That would have been annoying. <laughs> anyway, next time, the Dragonborn DLC. And after that, we'll finish off the playthrough with the Dawnguard DLC. Hope you've all enjoyed this video and I'll have a nice day. Bye-bye.